Hello, my name is Howard Tylus. I'm going to be making informative videos. The first one that I think that can help you uh, right now is I want to show you how to get to the NFA website, the National Futures Association website. It's the regulatory body for the commodity uh, futures industry. So I, have, I happen to be on the Yahoo page, but in the top right corner here, that's where I do uh, a Google search. So you're going to type in NFA. That stands for the National Futures Association, and hit go. And of course, it comes out right on top. Now, right here is where I want you to look, where it says Basic Home. That's where you click. So you left-click in there, and it does take you to the NFA website. And this is the basic search. You put in the firm's name that is your uh, brokerage firm. Or if you're in a commodity pool, you can put it here and check out your pool. And for your brokers, which is very important, you want to do a search right here. And you put in their last name. And if it's a common name, put it there first. We're going to use mine, T-Y-L-L-A-S. We're going to hit go. The search results is there is only one person registered with the NFA under that name. Yeah, uh, the NFA ID number is 13,683, which means I'm an original member because now there's hundreds of thousands. So you can, uh, you know, you can, this is my current status, and you can see things by clicking here or clicking here, either way. So it takes you to me, the details from, for, uh, uh, under my ID. It shows that currently I'm a floor broker, I'm a registered floor broker, I'm a registered introducing broker, uh, I'm an NFA member, and I'm a registered commodity trading advisor, which is a CTA. I own uh, the firm, um, which is the introducing broker. I have trading privileges at the Chicago Board of Trade, which means I'm a member of the exchange. A floor broker is a person who fills orders, fills paper for brokerage. It could be for uh, any um, member firm on the floor, and the uh, average charge is about $1.50 for one contract. It says here that uh, I'm guaranteed by MF Global, but here's where I really want you to look, where it says regulatory actions, the NFA, the CFTC, or if the exchanges uh, took regulatory actions against me and arbitration awards and reparations cases. I'm not known as any in any other name. My business is Futures Flight. That's the name of my IP. I'm a sole proprietor. I own more than 10%. I own 100%. This is what I want you to look at. If you see any regulatory actions, read it thoroughly. They provide all the details if there was any action. So uh, this uh, helps people because I have uh, talked to many people. A lot of them deal with firms in Florida or California, and they're not registered, and they've encountered problems. So all I'm saying is make sure they're NFA members, make sure they're in good standing, make sure that they don't have a history of any sort of sales abuse or, or, or anything else that would show that would, should give you concern. So that's my first video. I hope that uh, for some it uh, gave you peace of mind and for some uh, if it gave you a warning that, uh, to take action and do something about it. That's it for now.